Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Heather and in today's video, we are back at the elderly couple's apartment and we are going to be tackling this insane closet that is in their office slash spare bedroom. As you can see, this closet is absolutely stuffed to the point that it is spilling out onto the floor the doors cannot close properly it is pushing the doors almost off of the track so it is definitely posing a hazard for the wife to be able to move around in her spot especially in the area right next to her desk to the right of the screen um, so we are just getting in here and pulling everything out trying to bring in some organization for the husband and just make this a safer place for the wife to maneuver around so we are starting on the right side of the closet and typically i would have worked from like the top down starting at the top of the closet dealing with the clothes organizing all of that and then dealing with the items on the bottom but it was really such a dangerous area for even me that I needed to make sure I wasn't tripping over things. Um, didn't want to bring a ladder into that situation, trying to get to the top first, then down to the bottom. Um, it was just really, all of the items were spilling out so bad. The boxes were toppling over. So I'm having to work from the bottom. Then I'm going to go to the top of the closet, then address the clothes last. So as I'm pulling everything out, um, there's just all sorts of stuff, you name it, it is in there. Um, but I would say at least half of it is tools. Um, just at first glance, I kind of knew I was going to be dealing with a lot of cords. Um, that's kind of a common theme that I've seen in the living room um, and even in the kitchen. Um, so I have lots of cords to organize, lots of tools, um, and what was funny as I was pulling stuff out, there was just lots of little plastic trash bags that you get at the grocery store. And what I think is happening or was happening um, is that he would go to work on a project or help someone else out in their apartment or working on their cars. Um, and so he would grab tools, stick them in this little plastic bag. And then when he was done with it, he would just toss it into the closet because there was no organization. There was no place to actually store his tools. Um, I think that's a big part of this problem. Um, really a part of the problem across our whole apartment is that there is just no organization um, ever that was established when they first moved into this place. So that is what they're doing. I found these um, plastic storage bins on Facebook Marketplace. I think I found three of them for like 30 bucks. So they were an absolute steal. Um, and we're just going through things one by one, figuring out what's being stored in all of these cardboard boxes and bags and just sorting it as I go. Um, ideally, I probably would have liked to pull everything out and then sort it. Um, but as you can see, it was a very, very cramped space and the wife is off the screen kind of helping me make decisions on some of these things um, as we're going. So definitely stay tuned till the end because the before and after is so incredibly impressive. second black trash bag at this point and I have thrown away 
multiple boxes. Some of them are empty. Some of the boxes only had like a few things in them. Um, but as I was kind of pulling stuff out from that immediate area, right when you opened the closet doors, I looked to the right and that closet goes back at least three feet. I was shocked. It was so crazy because it's just so dark in there that even, I mean, I'd looked in the closet multiple times and I had no idea that the closet went that far back, which is kind of a good and bad thing. I was like, okay, that's great. I'll have some space to store kind of these less frequently used items like those cords I just put in the bin and some other things, but it's also bad because the further back it goes, the more likely that stuff is just going to be forgotten and never touched. So I just tried to plan it out to where I was just sticking stuff back there. That one was actually already back there in the first place, because if he wasn't accessing it previously, he's not probably going to access it going forward. So just kind of wanted to keep that same idea going in that space. Um, but yeah, I was just totally shocked um, at how much stuff I was continually pulling out. It kind of felt like Mary Poppins bag, like how can more stuff possibly come out of this closet? And yet it keep going. Right here, we found two laptops that look like they're from about 2005 and they're really, really old. Um, and so I just put those to the side. The wife wasn't sure what the husband wanted to do with them. Actually, she was in insisting that we keep them, that he would want to keep them. Um, but when the husband actually did get home, you know, I was like, it's just not going to hurt to ask. So we'll ask him, you know, hey, what do you want to do with these laptops? Um, and one of them, he actually did let go. The other one, um, I convinced him to let my husband look at it, see if he could reboot it at all um, and pull anything off of it. So I took that to my husband, and so he still needs to see what he can do with it if um, we can recover any of the data, um, although the data that the um, elderly husband was saying that he wanted to pull off of it was just like some old music from a program at church. So it's not like financial data or anything like that. Um, if we can't pull it off, maybe I can help him. If he remembers the music, maybe I can help him find it somewhere online. Um, I don't want to spend too much time trying to um, get those old laptops to reboot just to recover stuff that you can find online. So, um, but I was really shocked that he even let go of them. Um, you know, he is a tech person and loves all of his tech stuff and has a really hard time letting that kind of stuff go. Um, so really proud of the progress he made on some of those items. So we are just finishing going through all of the items that I had pulled down from the top of the right hand side of the closet and just using these bins to kind of corral everything in a bit more of an efficient manner. And then we're going to put them back at the top of the closet. We really did create a lot of space by pulling um, a lot of that stuff out and getting rid of the boxes that they were being stored in, uh, definitely being stored more efficiently and has created a lot more space up there. So I am bringing in this smaller storage unit and I'm going to be using this to store all of the tools that I found in all of those little plastic bags. I swear there had to have been over two dozen plastic bags filled with all sorts of various tools and 
bits and bobs. Um, so I am using one drawer for like screwdrivers and wrenches and um, putting some of the bigger items towards the bottom. It was crazy the amount of loose tools that were just all thrown in there um, and a lot of duplicates of all sorts of different stuff because he just had no idea what was at the bottom. I found like a two brand new sets of oh wrenches maybe I'm not sure and it was like still in this nice carry container and the wife even said yeah he just bought another one because he couldn't find the other one um so this is kind of what happens when you don't have any sort of storage or organization system implemented you lose stuff in the hoard of everything and so you're spending extra money rebuying items that have gotten lost um and so now we are just kind of pulling everything out on on the left hand side of the closet um, there was a fan a grill and another little vacuum in there and so we're going to continue using that side for those items the grill they don't like to store out on their outdoor patio because it could be stolen so I totally understand that um, but at least there is space for us to store it now without everything piled up on top of each other so when they do want to pull it out um, it's real easy you know it's not getting stuck on other things at the bottom of the closet. Y'all, this suitcase cracks me up. I had actually found this suitcase in the living room um, a couple of months ago whenever I cleaned out that space and it was full of tools. So I don't know if he's using that as his toolbox or kind of what the situation was with the suitcase an old school suitcase full of tools. So I cleaned that out and I am just sorting through all of the items that I found in that suitcase. I actually bought him a toolbox. I was like, it's crazy that he has all this tools and, you know, helping people out and fixing things. That is one of his passions and hobbies and he doesn't have a proper toolbox so I found a pretty affordable one on Amazon and so I'm going to bring that over to him and just kind of load it with some of the basics that he may need um, but definitely 
think uh, we could do a lot better than a suitcase that looked like it was from the 60s or 70s. So now I am coming back to the space underneath his desk. Um, we cleared out a lot in the last video, got through a lot. Um, but there's still a lot more to go through. This is another one of the, the plastic organization pieces that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And it was a little nicer, so kind of wanted to put this in his desk area. And so we're just going through all of the boxes. Um, still a bunch of stuff under there that needed to be sorted. There was that additional box of movies that I was not able to fit in the dresser initially. So I'm putting it in here, although, now that I have cleared space at the top of the closet, some of the board games that I had in the dresser from the last video, I was able to actually move those to the top of the closet. And then all of those movies I had just sorted at that bottom um, drawer in this bin, I was able to move to the dresser. And then so I have an additional drawer. It was just lots of juggling things around. There's just so much stuff in this room to process and just finding the best way to store everything. Um, and my goal really here is to remove every single cardboard box from this room and really from the house. <laughs> um, I do not love cardboard boxes. It just feels like, um, it's not an efficient use of space. You can't see the items that are in there. So they get forgotten about and just kind of pushed to the back. And it's just one of those things. It's like clutter collects more clutter. Um, and he's not utilizing the things in these boxes if they're just piled on top of each other. So we have come a very long way at the end of this video. I think there's only maybe three three or four cardboard boxes left. Um, and so I do have a surprise for this husband coming up. Um, I hope to implement it in the next few weeks, but I'm hoping that we'll eliminate every single cardboard box in this office. It is going to be so satisfying to get to that point, but this is kind of the middle stage of everything. Um, just trying to remove as much as possible, organize as much as possible before we bring in that last surprise piece. Um, and then I really kind of want to work on the overall aesthetic of the room, just try to make it look a little bit more pretty. Um, you know, we're definitely working on the overall function, but I think we can also make it aesthetically pleasing. So this is where I'm going through getting those games out of the stressor and just kind of rearranging some of the stuff to get it to work even better in this room.
So this is my second day working on the closet. Um, this was the very last piece is to get all of the clothes organized. Um, so the husband uses this closet in this spare bedroom as his closet. Um, the wife has the main closet. Um, and it was just kind of a crazy disorganized mess. There was about about half of what is actually in there is just spare hangers and they were taking up an incredible amount of room um, and on top of that the clothes were kind of hanged poorly um, which I think just kind of create contributed to the overall messy look of that closet so I am just getting all of the shirts to face the same way, um, have everything buttoned up so they're not falling off of the hangers, um, and then just removing all of those additional hangers, and it created so much room. He knew he had additional hangers in there, um, and then he was actually in the room while I was pulling all of them out, and he was shocked at how much I was actually pulling out. So he was kind of sorting through all of the additional hangers and deciding what he actually wanted to keep, which hangers he could toss and I actually donated a few to me. So we are just getting everything sorted out and straightened up and putting all of the shirts on one side and putting all of the pants on the other and it just made such a huge difference and just made the closet look so much nicer. Let me see. 
So just as a refresher, this is the before, this is the state of the closet. It is absolutely in disarray, zero organization going on, boxes falling all on top of each other, everything spilling out literally from the closet to where the doors cannot close properly. The clothes are all hung in a crazy manner. And now this is the after. We cleaned up even more space underneath the husband's desk, looking so much more tidy up underneath there. And just rearranged a few more things overall in the room for it to function a little bit better. And then now we are on to the closet. Brought in these organization pieces so all of his tools are stored in one spot and there is a dedicated place for all of it. The clothes are hung and they look so pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, everything is so much more organized. Um, and the husband even sent me a text the next day saying he had to help someone on a project in their house and he was able to go straight to his tools and he knew where everything was. And then whenever he was done, he was able to put them back. So that definitely makes me so incredibly happy. Thank you everyone for joining me. There will be a third episode of this, so definitely stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Uh -oh.